Good morning, brother, brothers. As many of you may know, my name is Lucas Andeman, and I'm originally from Argentina. My accent tells it so. Um, by the grace of God, I was born in a Christian family, uh, which had and still has Christ as the center of all our, our, all our longings and desires. Both of my parents are full missionaries committed to sharing and spreading the word of God in, back in Argentina. So since I was a, a toddler, I remember seeing the scriptures as the lamp uh, lighting our path. From early morning until late at night, the Bible was always open in the living room table so that we may all contemplate on it throughout the day. Thus, I, I grew up uh, studying the scriptures and behaving in, according to it, in accordance to it. But it wasn't until my teen years uh, that I became a committed follower of Christ. Uh, it wasn't a specific sin that brought me to repentance, but my overall shortcomings of seeking after God's glory. As I, I remember as I was reading the Confessions of Augustine, a deep, deep sense of awareness convicted my soul of, for not thirsting after God's glory as he did. So from that point on, I decided to do everything I could to get to know God better, since I cannot properly glorify that which I don't really know. So at the age of 18, I asked my dad uh, to find me a Greek professor so that I could learn how to divide the word of God clearly and accurately. I would travel four hours every Monday to study Greek for two hours uh, with a professor in classical Greek. And I became involved in uh, the youth group uh, teaching for two years through the Epistle of Galatians. But in, I, I knew I had to, to learn more and uh, get to know the Word of God better. So in 2008, the, the Lord opened miraculously the doors for me to come to the Master's College to study biblical languages. Uh, for many of you international students, you know uh, what a big hurdle is getting entry into the U.S. Uh, but once the, the Lord provided for the, the visa, the major factor that would be able to keep me from coming was, of course, money. Uh, one, one week before I was to, to leave to LA, uh, a person knocked on my parents' door and told me that he was going to pay for my education. And that was the first of many blessings. Like an avalanche, it was blessing after blessing. From the families he used to provide me shelter to going even to Israel at the end of my studies at the Master's College, God has been behind the scenes all the time showing his faithfulness towards me. And getting to know my beautiful wife through playing soccer was definitely a proof of his grace and mercy, for who would have thought that God would unite an Argentinian and Brazilian through soccer? <laughs> he's, he's definitely good. Uh, but my wife has been, for me, a source of encouragement in times of troubles. Uh, she has been a tool used by God to reflect, reflect his face uh, towards me. She has been a reservoir of pure happiness and joy. But perhaps most importantly, she is a faithful, selfless, humble, submissive helper, a truly devoted follower of Christ, who gave up much of her desires and academic endeavors to come alongside me. Amor, you are such a hard worker, and I admire you tremendously. You, you make me a happy man. Uh, and I, I, I remember one specific occasion here at TMS. Uh, during my first, my first semester, uh, that I didn't have a job, uh, my bank account was in the double digits. Uh, so I was praying and I, 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 I received suddenly an email from Dr. Busenis telling that 
Uh, I was awarded $1,000 to cover my expenses. And God has been so faithful, so faithful. I remember the day afterwards, we were in chapel, and I was sitting right there, and we were, si we were singing, Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. And I, I was crying, as I'm crying right now, and uh, I was thinking, yes, he's faithful. And how often we forget of that and become so anxious. He's so good, and he has kept me and uh, throughout these three years of seminary with a place to live, a place to serve here at the church with the Spanish ministry, and a place to work also here at the church. Uh, with regards to the future, I have been accepted into the THM program here in the Old Testament department, and hopefully I will finish by next May. Uh, beyond that, my wife and I are praying about either pursuing further education or possibly going into ministry right away. Thank you.